students welcome back to our session so for this session we shall be discussing all about solving problems involving trapezoids so at the end of the session you should be able to familiarize yourself with the different properties of an isosceles trapezoid and apply the properties of isosceles trapezoid in solving problems Let us just try to recall some properties of isosceles trapezoid. First, the bases are parallel. So, line segment AB is parallel to line segment BC. Second one, the legs are equal in measure. So, this leg, line segment AB, is congruent to line segment BC. And also, the base angles are congruent. So, we can say that angle A is congruent to angle B, and also, angle D is congruent to angle C. Next, we have the diagonals are congruent. So, the diagonal AC is congruent to the diagonal BD. And for the last property, we have opposite angles are supplementary. So, this angle here, which is opposite to angle C, then, since they are supplementary, there's some is 180 degrees and also this angle B and angle D. We also have to discuss or review mid-segment theorem. So that means we are looking at the median. So this line segment EF is just equal to one half of the sum of the two bases A, B, and C, D. So we have the formula E, F equals one half times the quantity A, B plus C, D. Let's have an example. Given the quadrilateral P, O, S, T, is an isosceles trapezoid with line segment OS parallel to line segment TT. Let's see. OS is parallel to TT. That's correct. And line segment ER is its median. So this is the median. So first question. If line segment TT is equal to 3x minus 2 and line segment OS is equal to 2x plus 10 and line segment ER is equal to 14 how long is each base so basically we want to know the two bases line segment PP and line segment OS to know that since we have the median here, we can apply its concept. That is, ER is equal to one half of OS plus PT. So we have, we know that ER is equal to 14 and OS is 2x plus 10, this one, plus PT is equal to 3x minus 2. So, we can just multiply 14 and 2 by cross multiplication. 14 times 2 equals 28. So, 1 times 2x, 2x. 1 times 10 is 10. 1 times 3x is 3x. And 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 
So, simplifying it further, we have 2x plus 3x is 5x and 10 minus 2 equals 8. We copy 28. So, by algebraic ma manipulation, we have 5x is equal to 28 minus 8. So, we have 5x equals 20. So, the value of x now is equal to 4. Since we already got the value of x here, we can now easily uh, compute for the basis. P, P, N, O, S. Since x here is 4, then we can say that the value of P, P is 3 times 4, 12, minus 2 is equal to 10. So this line segment P, T is equal to 10. And also this O, S, so 2 times 4 is 4, equals 8 plus 10 equals 18. Next problem. What if the measure of angle P is equal to 2x plus 5 and the measure of angle O is equal to 3x minus 10? What is the measure of angle P? So we are trying to find the value of this angle here. Given the measure of angle P and angle O. You know that P and S are opposite angles and their sum is 180 degrees. And we also know that S is congruent to O. So we can say that the measure of angle P plus the measure of angle O is also 180 degrees. So, by in that case, we can have now the measure of angle P is equal to 2x plus 5, this, plus the measure of angle O is equal to 3x minus 10 equals 180. Simplifying that further, we have 2x plus 3x equals 5x and 5 minus 10 equals negative 5 equals 180. So we have, by algebraic manipulation, 5x equals 180 plus 5. And that's equal to 195. So if we divide it both sides by 5, we get x equals 39. So therefore, we can now easily identify or compute for the value of our angle T here. Since they are congruent with angle P, we can say that whatever value of P here should also be the value of T here, angle T. So we say, the measure of angle P is just equal to the measure of angle P. And we know that the measure of angle P is equal to 2x plus 5. So we have the value of x is 39. So 2 times 39 is 78 plus 5. We get 83 degrees. So therefore, the measure of angle P is 83 degrees. Next problem. It says that one base is twice the other. So we are referring to this basis here. And ER, line segment ER, is 6 centimeters long. If its perimeter is 27 centimeters, how long is each leg? So basically, we, we are trying to find the values of these legs here. So we have, if this is the first base, the shorter, uh, the shorter distance, 
and the longer one is OS, which is twice this one. So we have 2x. If we let the shorter distance be x and 2x be the longer base, and we have here er is 6. Now, how can we get the value of x here? Or this segment here and this segment here? So, since we are only dealing with median, we can have er equals 1 half of tt plus os. So, it follows that we have er is 6 equals 1 half times the quantity. Our pt is x plus os is 2x. So, just multiply this one, 6 and 2, we have 12. So, x plus 2x, 3x times 1, this is still 3x. So, we have the value of x now is equal to 4 because 3 times 4 is 12. So, we can say that line segment PT is equal to 4 and line segment OS is equal to 8. So, now, if the perimeter is 27 centimeters, how long is each leg? So, let's try to find the value of this. Since the perimeter is uh, 27, so let, let us try to let this segment be Y and this one, since they are congruent. So, the perimeter now is equal to X plus 2X plus Y plus Y. So, we have the perimeter is 27 equals the value of X is 4, 2X is 8, and then Y plus Y equals 2Y. So, we have 27 equals 12 plus 2Y because 4 plus 8 equals 12. And we have by algebraic manipulation, 2y is equal to 27 minus 12. So we have 2y equals 15. So therefore, y equals 15 halves. So the answer for this question is that each leg measures 15 halves centimeters. And for the last problem, line segment ER is 8.5 inches long and one leg measures 9 inches. What is its perimeter if one of the bases is 3 inches more than the other? So we have ER is 8.5 and one leg is 9 inches. It says that one base is 3 more than the other. So if we let this uh, be the shorter uh, base, so therefore, the shorter leg or the longer base, I should say, is x plus 3. 3 more than the base, the other one. So we have the median again. So 8.5 equals 1 half times the quantity x plus x plus 3. So... 8 point times 2 is 17 equals x plus x plus 3 times 1 is still x plus x plus 3 equals 17 minus 3 equals 2x. So we have 14x, 14, 14 equals 2x, so x equals 7. So x here equals 7. So to get the perimeter, we know that Perimeter is equal to PT plus ST plus S plus OP. So we have the value of X is 7. ST, this one is 9. OS, 7 plus 3 equals 10. And OP equals 9. We are just congruent. So we have, when we add all of them, we get 35 inches. And that would be all.
thank you hope you enjoyed